Right, you have 8,000, but the bad news is you got through all three lifelines on that one question. Yeah. Have a look. Question number nine is for £16,000. You can walk away with eight. You would drop seven here, Phil, if you gave me a wrong answer. You're two away from 32,000. Here it comes. Which of these actors has not played Blofeld in the James Bond films? Patrick McNee, Charles Gray, Donald Pleasance, Telly Savalas. I know Donald Pleasance did. And I think Telly Savalas did. But I can't say with the others. I'm tempted to say Patrick McNee, but I'm not confident enough to do that, I don't think. Don't you? How many of them do you think have, that you know? I know two that have. It's just the other two. It's, you want three, don't you? It's a 50-50 again, isn't it? Well, I haven't got any coins to toss, so I think I'll take them on. Um, it's just, just too much to risk. Final answer. Final answer. OK, give him a big hand. Phil Hitchin goes away with £8,000. <laughs> Which one would you have gone for? I know you're taking your eight grand and you're happy, but... I'd have gone for Patrick Monet, I think. Would you? Yeah. I was leaning that way. Well, that I was leaning that way. Yeah. Well, because, you see, if you'd said to me Patrick McNee... I'd have given you £16,000 because it was the right answer. He's £8,000 better off. Give him a big hand. We'll play. Good luck. Well, we still have eight increasingly trigger-happy contenders left to play Fastest Finger First again, all hoping to be next to play for a life-changing sum of money. Nice and quiet in the audience, please. As always, here comes their question. Put these human bones in order from longest to shortest. Stirrup, femur, metatarsal, tibia. Contestants left and eight not very happy faces. Right, this is the right order. Don't forget, longest going down to shortest, longest uh, femur in the thigh, then tibia, uh, then metatarsal in the foot, and the shortest stirrup in the ear. So that's the right order. Now, out of uh, eight, how many got it right? These were correct. One, Peter Franks in 3.60. Well, Peter, the only one that knew. I think you're a medium pig now. Right, this is Peter Franks, a university professor from New Malden in Surrey. Peter works at the Thames Valley University in Ealing. He's been married for four years to Cathy, who couldn't come with him tonight, as she's at home looking after the 11 month old son Samuel so instead Peter has brought his sister Valerie along for support right Peter let's get cracking here we go 15 questions three brand new lifelines one million pounds Peter lots of luck let's play who wants to be a millionaire let's try and race you up to at least 1,000 pounds question number one is for 100 traditionally what does a bride carry as she walks up the aisle bouquet tray of drinks portable TV the vicar. <laughs> That'll be a bouquet. Chris. I thought it might be. It's the right answer. Yeah, one hundred pounds. <laughs> Question number two for two hundred. Which of these is a party featuring country dancing, stable dance, barn dance, shed dance, pen dance? That would be barn dance. You have two hundred pounds. <laughs> Bad news is they do get a bit harder. Question number three <laughs> is for 300. Which of these fish is most likely to be caught in Loch Lomond? Sturgeon, piranha, salmon, red snapper. It would be a guess, but I have to say salmon, Chris. Right answer, 300 pounds. <laughs> Question number four is for 500. What is sometimes said to mean we are all in the same position? 
Join the society. Join the club. Join the guild. Join the association. That'll be B, join the club. Chris. So right answer, £500. <laughs> Question number five would guarantee you £1,000. You do have all three lifelines there untouched if you need them. Here it comes. Which of these Australian mammals is not a marsupial? Koala, dingo, kangaroo, possum. Which of these Australian mammals is not a marsupial? Koala, dingo, kangaroo, possum. That would be a dingo, Chris. You have £1,000, Peter Prince. <laughs> This is for £2,000. You have £1,000 guaranteed. You have all three lifelines. Question number six is this. What name is given to a skirt that flares from the waist? A-line, B-line, C-line, D-line. Uh, that's A-line, Chris. You sure? Yep. How do you know? Uh, because my wife used to work in, in retail and she was always going on about having to wear an A-line skirt. Final answer? Final answer. Absolutely right, you've got £2,000. <laughs> Question number seven is for 4000 You've still got all three lifelines. Have a look, tell us what you want to do. The Heart of Midlothian is a novel by which author? Walter Scott, George Eliot, Charles Dickens, Thomas Hardy. Um, I'm fairly sure I know which, what the answer is. Heart of Middle Blue. And I'm going to play A. Walter Scott. You were nearly going to use a lifeline, I was you? nearly. I was nearly going to go 50-50, but I think I'll go Walter Scott. Final answer? Final answer. Which was the other one you worried about? Well, I guess um, possibly Charles Dickens, but... It wasn't. You saved a lifeline. It's worth £4,000. It's the right answer. Well done. <laughs> Question number eight is for £8,000. It's all going rather well. Have a look. Tell us what you want to do. You can double your money here. You've obviously dropped £3,000 if you gave me a wrong answer. Take your time. Which of these women was known as the maid? Florence Nightingale. Cleopatra, Joan of Arc, Elizabeth the I. I knew all this useless information would, would uh, be of benefit. The answer is C, Joan of Arc. Why would she be called the maid? She's called the maid of Orléans, which is just another name for her. Final answer? Final answer. It's the right answer, you've got £8,000. <laughs> After all that, the maid of Orléans was uh, burnt at the stake, wasn't she? She was. Hideous. Right, you are two away from 32... This is getting a bit serious, this. You are two away from 32,000. You are seven away from one million. Sounds very easy when you say it like this. <laughs> you have not yet used a single lifeline. Question number nine is for £16,000. Here it comes. What name is given to the swampy Caribbean coast of Honduras and Nicaragua? Coromandel Coast, Ivory Coast, Gold Coast, Mosquito Coast. Again, I'm fairly sure I know the answer. Coromandel's in New Zealand, because I've been there. Ivory Coast is in Africa. Gold Coast is Australia, I think. So I'm fairly sure it's Mosquito Coast. Um. I'm going to go D, Mosquito Coast. Final answer. Final answer. Peter, Mosquito Coast is the right answer. You just won £16,000. <laughs> Good 
Gold Coast is um, it's Africa, actually. Oh, is it? Oh, OK. Doesn't really matter. You couldn't care less. You've got 16 grand. You have all three lifelines untouched. You are one away from 32,000. And more critically, you're six away from a million. How are you feeling? You have seem very calm. Yeah, that's the outside. Inside, I'm churning up. <laughs> churning. <laughs> OK, question number 10 is for £32,000. Obviously, that would be a huge help for your family. Um, and that would be the minimum amount you would leave here with tonight if you go for it and give me the right answer. It's a big old drop if you give me a wrong answer. You would lose £15,000, but you've not yet used any of your lifelines. Right, this is question number 10 of a possible 15. Here it comes. Which of these TV presenters was elected rector of Dundee University in February 2004? Kay Adams. Lorraine Kelly, Carol Smiley, Gail Porter. Hmm. Okay, are well, you moving these sort of circles? I do, but I don't know very much about Dundee University, unfortunately. Ah. Um, well, Kay Adams is Scottish. In fact, they're all Scottish, aren't they? Yes, they are. <laughs> uh, so that doesn't help. That's not easy <laughs> um, right, I think I will. Go 50 50 first, please. Right, computer take away two random wrong answers. Leave Peter the right answer and the one remaining wrong answer. Hmm. What's that done for you? Hmm. Carol Smiley or Lorraine Kelly? One of those is the rector of Dundee University. I think I might have to phone a friend. OK. You really need a friend in Dundee University? No, unfortunately, I don't know anybody in Dundee University, but I know somebody who knows huge amounts about everything. I thought so, that was supposed to be you. Well, <laughs> no, not really. But she is um, she's very knowledgeable, so she might be able to help. OK, Rid Fiona, um, tell her the question, two possible answers. See what she... Um, she comes up with you do not have to take um, necessarily her answer you can walk away with 16 grand and you still got to ask the audience hello fiona yes that's chris tarrant here good evening oh good evening how are you oh good evening how are you <laughs> well you know what's going on then don't you i do know what's going on yes well i don't know what's going on but i know what it's about yes well, basically, we're doing who wants to be a millionaire. Peter's here. He's on uh, sixteen thousand pounds at the moment. Oh my! Whoa! So, um, yes, just calm yourself a bit, Fiona. Yes, I will. Sorry. Because uh, he needs your help. He says you're the most intelligent person he knows on the planet. He's lying. Well, um, but it's worth thirty-two grand now. Listen, the good thing is there are only two possible answers. One is right, right and one is wrong. Mm -hmm. All right, my darling, he's got rid of two with 50-50. So next voice here will be Peter's. He will tell you the question and two possible answers. One is worth £32,000. OK? OK. Right. Peter, fingers crossed, mate. Lots of luck. 30 seconds starts now. Hi, Fiona. Hi, Pete. Which, which of these TV presenters was elected rector of Dundee University in February 2004? Lorraine Kelly or Carol Smiley? I don't know the answer, Pete, but I would go for the second one. Carol Smiley. Yeah, but I don't know the answer. Right. Oh, well, thanks very much anyway. OK, take care. Cheers. Bye. Oh, dear. I would have gone for Lorraine Kelly. Um, you could ask the audience. Yeah, I could. Well, don't say it like that. They're probably very nice, intelligent people. <laughs> if you're wrong, you lose £15,000. It's all going too well, wasn't it? It was going far too well, and so that's just the way it, can, way, way it happens. Um, yeah, OK, I think I will ask this fine audience, please, Chris. OK. Right, audience, on your keypad, serious business. This is for £32,000. Which of these TV presenters was elected rector of Dundee University in February 2004? B, Lorraine Kelly. C, Carol Smiley. OK? B or C, please, all vote now. 